Folks, just like Joe Biden forgets his own damn name, the man forgets seven billion dollars worth of military equipment in Afghanistan. Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. Our story here is regarding Joe Biden leaving $7 billion worth of military equipment in Afghanistan. Now, as always, folks, if you want to support us here at the Bald Brad Show or heck, support a conservative, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. With that being said, this comes from our friends over at Blaze TV, and they say the United States left approximately $7 billion worth, Jesus, $7 billion worth of military equipment in Afghanistan during the withdrawal last August, according to a congressionally mandated report from the United States Department of Defense. The Pentagon report claimed that the U.S. left behind aircraft, air-to-ground munitions, military vehicles, communications equipment, etc. So, you know, if you were somebody that didn't know the amount, say like seven billion, even though it's more than seven billion that was left behind, or the fact that there's like forty thousand military vehicles and all this stuff, like the actual numbers, you'd think, oh, like, what's the big deal? You know, it's just like some goggles, some gloves. You know, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. But when you're told these numbers, it is mind blowing that this guy is still allowed to run our military. I mean, he literally just woke up with, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pull out of Afghanistan. Like this guy doesn't even know one how to run the military, let alone doesn't know his own name. I'm not even sure if he remembers the fact that this happened. You know what I mean? We're talking seven, it's hard to say, $7 billion just left behind to terrorists that run the country now. I mean, the people that are literally gang raping women, putting back in like Sharia law and all this stuff going on. And we're just supposed to be okay with the fact that we just armed them like 40,000 vehicles. It's unbelievable. Wait till we get to the numbers here. The U S gave a total of $18.6 billion of equipment to the Afghan national defense and security forces. Well, they're gone now. So I guess we'll throw that out there. According to CNN, really, you just gave it to the, the Taliban. Let's be honest. So of that equipment, a total worth of 7.12 billion remained in Afghanistan after the U.S. withdrew in August 30th. While the abrupt uh, withdrawal reportedly left behind 78 aircraft valued at basically a billion dollars. The deserted aircraft were demilitarized and rendered inoperable before the U.S. military withdrew from the Taliban-controlled country, according to the report. But yet, folks, folks, there's literally like video of them trying to fly these Blackhawks, and I'm laughing because... <laughs> It's funny in the aspect of watching these people try to do aerobics, but also like fly our aircraft carriers. And I'll try to put the video somewhere in here for you. And that part's really funny. This is obviously really serious. And definitely trust me, it really does piss me off. It just doesn't look like it because I'm picturing these videos in my mind that I'm showing you. But, but look, it's not it's not funny in the sense of like you're leaving stuff that they can actually still use. Yeah, some of these aircraft were inoperable, but some of them weren't. They're basically lying to you in some way, shape, or form here. Also, they left uh, in Afghanistan were more than 40,000 military vehicles, including 12,000 Humvees. Folks, have any of you just seen like 12,000 vehicles just out there in the desert? Can you picture 12,000 vehicles, Humvees being left? Unbelievable. The DOD stated that the operational condition of the vehicles is unknown. They were mint condition, okay? Like Trump would see, these are the most heroic vehicles that's ever been put on the face of the earth okay mint beautiful condition fresh paint you could smell it you know like <laughs> it's unbelievable that you have the wherewithal to tell people through a mandated report that the vehicle's condition were unknown you know but again why why should we expect anything different from a president that just loves spending money you know like the COVID 19 stimulus checks handing them out like hot cakes they don't care about where all this money is going because it's not their money. It's the American taxpayer money. It's always easy to spend somebody else's money than it is your own. The Pentagon report, which was published in March, noted that 9,524 air to ground munitions worth $6.5 million were left in Afghanistan. Great. Yeah, you know, you just, you know, give munitions to the Taliban. That's, that's just fine. People that want to murder America, that chant death to America in the streets, that want to kill all of us. No, 
What's a big, what's the big deal, you guys? We're just giving them munitions. We're just arming them. Not a big deal at all. You saw the same thing with the bomb administration, right? Just handing over billions of dollars of cash to Iran. The people, you know, that literally in their own chambers chant on TV like every year, death to America, light the American flag on fire, you know, put pinatas with that look like the current president, other than Barack Obama himself, of course, because they love him. Uh, everybody else like Trump, they'll just light on fire and stuff like that. But not a big deal, you guys. According to Democrats, not a big deal. Like if Trump did this shit, I'd be pissed, okay? I'm sure he's probably left munitions somewhere around in America, in, in the world, but not $7.12 billion worth. The Taliban could have access to over 300,000. Jesus. Guys, these are big numbers, okay? 300,000 weapons that the U.S. left in Afghanistan, as well as more than 1.5 million pieces of ammunition worth $48 million. Folks, it's tough to get nine millimeter ammo in the United States right now. If anybody knows anything about firearms, the second amendment right now, like ammunition's extremely expensive and it's like, it's almost being rationed right now, but we're just leave 1.5 million pieces. If we couldn't use it as American citizens, I want to fire off a few rounds here, but you know, Hey, we'll just give the Taliban more than what we have over here. The report claimed that nearly all the communications equipment that the U S gave the Afghan forces remained in the country at the time of withdrawal. <sighs> I mean, are we not going to know the, uh, the, at least the severity of, was the equipment damaged? Was it brand new? Was it good? Was it still in the boxes? Am I the only one that's kind of like bothered by this? Are we supposed to just be okay that we just left this kind of stuff behind? Like, is it, it just shows you again, again, that Joe Biden literally woke up after his poop ridden nap. And it's like, hey, you know, let's pull out. Like there was no plan like, hey, you know, let's let's do this strategically. Let's make sure everything's in place here. Let's make sure we incrementally pull out our our equipment. I'm not even saying you got to pull out everything, but hell, not seven point one or two billion dollars worth of equipment. Like at least I understand you got to maybe leave some there to protect yourself as you pull out the like the last guys. But shit, I mean, forty two thousand specialized equipment, night vision, goggles, surveillance systems, like all this stuff just be left behind for them. The U.S. military was able to transfer over 15 million rounds of ball rifle ammunition, more than 99,040 millimeter high explosive fragmentation grenade cartridges, and approximately 119,082 millimeter high explosive mortar rounds to Ukraine. According to the report, the U.S. also reportedly relocated five MI-17 helicopters to Ukraine from Afghanistan. Quote, much of the remaining military hardware deserted in Afghanistan reportedly requires specialized maintenance that DOD contractors previously provided to Afghan forces. Because, you know, these people at some point aren't going to be able to figure out how to work this stuff. I'm sure they'll be able to figure out. These are the same type of people that were able to infiltrate the United States, learn how to fly Boeing aircraft, and then fly them into the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. So you're telling me that they're not going to be able at some point in time, figure out how to fly these things, drive these things, work these things. I don't know. It sounds like, hey, you know what, American public, you're stupid. And we're going to tell you that these people are so barbaric that they're not going to be able to learn how to shoot a gun. They're not going to be able to how to drive these Humvees and operate them and fix them because you're all dumb and you're going to think that these people actually can't figure it out. So that's where the American government leaves all of us. And I would also like to point out, folks, why is he being let let go with doing this type of behavior? Like, why is there no investigation into this? Why is there no backlash coming from the Democrats? Why is there no backlash coming from the Republican Party? Like, where is Congress at in this? You know, the people that hold the purse. It's just unbelievable the stuff that the Democrats get away with. Like I said, Obama got away with giving Iran a billion dollars, creating the worst deal in American history to the point where literally Thomas Sowell declares him the worst president in American history because of that deal. And then you have this going on and we're just supposed to be like, ah, hey, no, not a big deal. Ah, you're fine. Ah, you're an old guy. You forget things. You know, you forget your wife's name. Forget your name, man. You probably poop your diaper, but hey, you know, we're going to be okay with it. It's unbelievable the amount of shit and forget my, forget my speech, but the amount of crap that this guy gets away with from the US-Mexico border crisis, the pull out of Afghanistan where we have 13 soldiers being blown up to literally having the Taliban run roughshod over an entire country where they're raping and gang raping women and children to the point where literally they're throwing children into a fire and then having the, the, the mother eat their dead child. It's the stuff I could tell you on here is mind blowing. Uh, Joe Biden's fine with that. I don't remember anything. Afghanistan, what's that? Like this guy probably doesn't remember that he actually pulled out of Afghanistan, let alone left military equipment behind. What the shit does he care? He was in Congress his entire life. 
right? He had he had keys to the purse. He didn't care then. He's not going to care now. So, folks, what do you all think about this? Am I making this uh, too big of a deal, or is anybody else just completely baffled when we're saying things like three hundred thousand guns, forty thousand vehicles? You know, I mean, when you're using that type of language, it's kind of hard to say and quantify here and put that in perspective of that's a lot of crap. But let me know in the comments below. And as always, folks, it's Friday. I hope you have a lovely weekend and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. And folks, I will see you later here on The Bob Brad Show.